CJ Harris was a walk on, is a walk on at the University, University of Auburn. And anyone who knows the football team at Auburn is pretty much life. When you live in Auburn, they, in, when you live in Alabama, they say, who are you for? And that means, are you for Auburn or Alabama? Okay. CJ Harris, as a walk on, one thing he suffers from is seizures. And to treat that condition, he takes cannabis oil. There is one problem, and it is this. Under NCAA guidelines, athletes are not permitted to have any THC in their systems. The cannabis oil Harris takes for his seizures contains less than 0.3% THC, according to the label, and he won't be able to pass an NCAA drug test while on that medicine. And this is, I mean, this is a, a guy who, this is his dream to be on the Auburn team for reasons I mentioned. It is life, war eagle, people yell at gas stations in Alabama. Um, and this is what it was like for him to find out this news. He said, when I read the text that one of the coaches sent me, I just, I broke mm -hmm. down because this is my dream and I saw everything lining up perfectly for me. And uh, this happened. I mean, it's so weird his doctor is the one giving him the sure. cannabis oil for the seizures. It's not like, you know, the guy on his hall who sells weed. And especially to be at that place where you feel like this is a debilitating thing. My doctor's found some source of hope for me. I'm doing this thing. I'm in my groove. Now my dreams can be possible. And then now there's this other thing that's kind of holding back. And the thing is, I was, you know, I did some research. The CBD International, the cannabis oil heals a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, from heart health to Alzheimer's to seizures to appetites, arthritis, glaucoma, tremors, PTSD. I mean, so many things. You know what I mean? So I think it sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's part of the problem is that it's a easy to grow plant. Yes. And if we could make it pill form and mark it up 100% or 1,000%, That's right. and some pharmaceutical <laughs> company could make a lot of money from it, then we'd solve it. Marijuana would be immediately legal. Right, and they're not, and they're not, it's not like the NCAA is going to be like, let's fight for weed right now because that's our only problem. Well, you know, um, I, first of all, I went to Florida State, so Alabama Don't and know. Auburn are not that important to me. But um, <laughs> what I will say is that um, I think that there are so many problems with the NCAA. My ex is a, was a former football player at Florida State. Those guys were getting $35 and uh, playing football and making the school millions of dollars. You would think that they would have some systems in place that would actually care about the players because the players are just cattle. It's like modern day slavery. And when I say stuff like that, people get really angry with me. But talk to those student athletes, the ones who are not getting paid by, you know, agents under the table and find out how they have to live. So the fact that that's so disappointing to me that they that, that his well-being is not a priority where someone would say, hey, let's make an exception in this. Let's make sure we have medical, we have a, a doctor's letter or whatever it is. It, it may sound naive, but I think it's important to remember that the players are never the priority when it comes to these big institutions. The dollars are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so... Uh, one point that I found so persuasive that I, it, I, it ended the conversation for me on the issue that Ida brought up is, uh, so it's a multi-billion dollar industry, uh, college football, college basketball, et cetera, and we all know that. But um, a lot of the players never go to the NFL. Most of them, the that's overwhelming right. majority of them never go to the NFL. So like the idea was, well, that's okay, they were gonna get paid a lot of money in, in, the, in the big leagues. No, they're not. 95% of them are never gonna see any of that money, and, and the college has got to make billions of dollars off of them. And then you have this, and it rubs uh, salt in the wounds. And oh, you have a way to treat your seizures. That's right. Not only are we are not going to pay you, we're going to ban you. And, and then in the NFL, you're telling me they're not taking drugs? Yeah. Have yeah. you seen the offensive linemen? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They're all roiding up. Many years from now, there'll be an expose about how, did you know they were doing steroids in the NFL all these years? Mm -hmm. Yes, we yeah. did know. Two easy ways to follow Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, then you're a TYT subscriber, and second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.